Hi, Olivia. This is Jim from Charlotte, responding to your video foreman on counselor competency and wellness. And in it, you had discussed that as you read through the different disciplinary actions that were taken, that uh, you were surprised by the very reasons of uh, the different ethical violations, um, and, and you, you went through them. Uh, and, and by having so many varied reasons, there wasn't really a specific pattern that you could, that you could discern that uh, would say, hey, I need to be aware of this. I really need to self-monitor myself for this. And I think you bring an excellent point that we do have to be aware of the different bear traps that are out there for us because there, there, are, there are a lot of them and some of them can be subtle and uh, not being able to just focus on one can, can be a challenge. So I think that's where we have to really be good at self-monitoring ourselves. And uh, following you, you brought up the uh, quote from the text about uh, we have to be experts on one-way caring. And that, that can be quite a big burden because I, I think in any interaction that we have with our, our friends and our peers is that there's hopefully if it's a healthy relationship that's a, it's a two-way street and it's just not a two-way street when you're in an intervention with somebody um there's there's give and take obviously but you you do have to maintain your composure and um you can't really let the you can't let the the client in too far to yourself so that's uh that's 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 a big challenge um you know, in terms of self care, from from that perspective, there's a, a a good article in the most recent Counseling Today by Bethany Bray uh, in 2019, and uh, one thing that I, I I think is really important is they they she talks about um, we need to spend time with those who will stick with us through the the bad and the good and tell the truth. Friends who aren't counselors are key. These are the people who will keep us sane and give it to us straight. They often have their feet on the ground more than we do, and I, I think that's uh, it's a really large aspect of self-care. So we can't forget that we, we have our friends and our family uh, who do give us the give and take, and that's, you know, as it, as it works for me, uh, I, I lean on my friends and family a lot. Um, I think we just have to continue that, obviously not disclosing uh, personal details of clients. And finally, uh, your, your question, what if the counselor themselves can't afford therapy for themselves. And I think there are a number of resources out there available. If you, if you look online and, and talking to peers, I, I, I think that um, I just, my, my heart and my gut tell me that if we need help from another counselor, we're, we're going to be able to find someone who's going to be able to help us and uh, help take care of us in that, that sense. But in a way, good job. Uh, I look forward to seeing more from you and from everyone else in the class, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you.